Petland Pets make life better. So we're talking about air pumps and the benefit of an air pump for an aquarium. I'm Phil from Petland and this is a very important thing that you need for your aquarium. Uh, in all aquariums we have power filters nowadays. Air pumps are a very old technology but uh, been around for a long time but still carry a lot of benefit. Uh, probably one of the greatest benefits is the fact that if you have a power failure and your pump doesn't come back on with the power reconnect, air pumps st uh, statistically will, will uh, power up a lot easier and possibly save the life of your fish. They'll kick back in, they'll keep circulation going, they'll keep the exchange of air and CO2 from your tank going and, uh, and keep your fish alive. So what we've got to set up today is an air pump, uh, quite a large one where we're running two objects. We're running uh, an air stone, which is just a big wall of air. Uh, we're also running an ornament off of it uh, that opens and closes. It's a clamshell type design, this one, uh, and just creates an, a level of engagement and excitement, especially for children in the aquarium as they can see this uh, running all day long. Uh, what we've got here is we've got a diaphragm, basically the manifold system where we've got air coming in and we can separate it into two different aspects uh, and two different items running right now. Uh, we've also got a check valve hooked up to this. Now a check valve which is coming from the main pump um, and directly in the line, this is going to save you down the road. It's a very small in, uh, investment, inexpensive investment, but can save a lot of damage. In event of a power failure, if, you're, uh, if your power cuts, and the air pump is still running, there's a small chance that you could actually create a reverse siphon. And what that means is you're actually going to start removing water from your tank through your air pump. And if you're not home, that can lead into a lot of water damage. So putting a check valve on here is going to reduce the, the chance of that happening. It's going to stop the water from being able to come out of the aquarium and still allow full function of the pump as normal with it. Um, so from the manifold, we can, we can control the, the level of air going into the units. So you can see here we've got a lot of air pumping into this bubble wall. Um, these walls come in different lengths. They can be full length of the tank. They can be a round shape, however you like. Uh, there's all sorts of sizes. Uh, and then we can, we can reduce the amount of air to go to an object similar to this shell where it requires just a little bit of air because too much air, it's just going to stay open the whole time. You're not going to get any motion out of it uh, and, and therefore it's not going to really be all that entertaining. It's just going to be a shell that's constantly open. Gaseous exchange in an aquarium is very important. Uh, what we want to do is keep circulation going. We want to break the surface. We want to release CO2 from the aquarium and increase oxygenation. So we're increasing the amount of oxygen being pumped into the aquarium. We're releasing CO2 by breaking the surface and therefore the benefit, the fish are, are, are going to have a lot more oxygen in the water, uh, less the risk of CO2 poisoning and, uh, and and just be healthier overall because of this air pump being in here. Um, we've got smaller air pumps, we've got larger air pumps, uh, we've got uh, multiple uh, units that can attach to these, different star, uh, star shape configurations, disc configurations for the air walls. We've got walls that are buried completely under the ground. You can make uh, uh, walls that are flexible to make any type of design you want in your aquarium. Uh, and they really, with the uh, additive of a fluorescent light and how the bubbles shine uh, off of the light, it really makes her a really unique feature in this aquarium. That's a few tips for air pumps, guys, for today. I'm Phil from Petland, and have yourselves a great day. Petland, Petland.